Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi, and welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. We're back together again after a busy last week. Last yeah. few weeks, actually. <laughs> last I don't think weeks. we've been, and I don't. You know, it's actually our first show since Thanksgiving. Right. I missed the right. last. Uh, a few just uh, with some sad conflicts. You know, we had I the know, death of the family. I know. Uh, Sorry. On a happier note now, and what I'm just excited about our our event. This is sort of the. This is a little bit of a recap from yeah. a week and what a half ago. What a what event! event. <laughs> what event, darling? You did something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Well, you know, it's funny. A, a very successful event. And I do want to talk a little bit about that because it was great. But it, we were wiped out. We all had colds afterwards. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting over one and. Usually, it, it takes me a day or two to actually decompress from any event. Yeah. That one in particular, because it's very congested, it's very loud, literally through the whole weekend, I like, didn't really want to play with people. I had to, <laughs> but it takes me yeah. several days to like, all right, and try. Well, I mean, tonight, to this morning, Michael finished finally emptying out the car. I'm still washing linens from all the yeah. tablecloths and things like that. Well, but the that, event we're talking about, if people don't know what it was, was yes. the Shopping for a Cause. It was our second annual event. Our first event, it was actually our first kickoff of doing events um, last year. We did it for mm -hmm. the project just because and did it again last week. Yeah. And um, it went off pretty good. It went off pretty good. Absolutely. We um, had huge sponsorship support and a, a sellout crowd. Well, we had vendors sign up mm -hmm. and sold out on vendor space. Um, it desperately accommodated as many as we could. Mm -hmm. Um, sponsors were incredible this year, and Absolutely. Darlene, kudos to you. You Absolutely. got really all these sponsorships, and then it was a standing room, salad crowd at capacity. Uh, Golden yeah. Pond hosted us again, and the big th thrill is drum roll. We <laughs> gave a contribution to Project Just Because, mm -hmm. and we tripled what we did last year, yeah. and. The amount, the amount, after all costs and after, proceeds. Yeah, it was uh, two thousand six hundred and ninety dollars. We contributed to project just because three times what we raised last year. It was amazing. Yeah. So, Dar I mean, you conceived yeah. of this event last year, pulled it off in less than three weeks, yeah. with more lead time, but you know, it just all came together beautifully. And thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I mean, I think a lot of it is what this community has become about and different things that we can do. I mean, I know it's featured, you know, in the front of, um, you know, this week's Independent and different things that happen. I mean, right next to the article well, is about yeah. Jerry Holland and that we had decided, yes. you know, we've built a partnership and an affiliate program with Confidence Beads. And, you know, we have the RHH collection, which features the, the rock star, You Rock Beat. Yes. And um, they were very visible that night, too, there. but we decided we wanted to start honoring our own lo local rock stars and they might be some each year will be somebody different but yeah this year we had no idea jerry was retiring so it was right. serendipity but what a nice way to I celebrate know. her retirement and recognize her as our local rock star absolutely um while we're on rock star vein uh, a big thank you to somebody who really helped us Ellen Rutter, right. um, who just volunteered her time and helped us pull the event together as well. Um, our title sponsor was Trina Mackey from Hallmark, so that was great. The, I think, you know, the, I know I talked to you about a month or so before him when we started planning it that I wanted to pick Jerry Holland. I know we I talked about several yep. different people we could mm -hmm. pick. And um, Jerry asked me why at the event, and I said, when, um, we walked through the art on the trail yeah and you pointed out the nest and what she does for, for arts and serenity right. house i started doing digging more i knew she was an art mentor mm -hmm. and i'm like wait a second this picture's bigger and that's why yeah and stuff and she goes wow and, and she didn't know it wasn't because she wasn't retiring and things well, like when that I you called shared. her i mean this this was so funny she was she was hesitant at first not in terms of you know accepting the honor but wondering why i called at that particular moment 
she was just beginning to announce this retirement and she thought and I said oh, I had no idea so it was so perfect she's gracious she's warm it was a it was a great selection yeah and I'm so happy that we we chose yeah, she's and she's been involved in the town of Hopkinton and the community for years she really is somebody who exemplifies engagement in the totally. community. No, her enthusiasm lovely. for what she does. I, mean, I was also surprised and so excited to hear that she has a program at the elementary school at Elmwood School mm -hmm. where she had them had the kids voting on the new dog tag yes. license, what it looks like. The shape. And, and brought the voting booths and the whole process and the kids, you know, based on the majority, that was the dog tag license they chose. So she, they really got to see their democracy in action. Yes. And she can get little kids inspired about that. She's a rock star. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, Jerry's getting involved even after her retirement. Still oh, actually, she'll stay oh, yeah. but the, engaged. On an event that I'm going to be doing in early June. And the event um, is actually Rock the Vote. And we'll be doing more analysis about it and details. And some of it is a little bit hushed right now. But she is going to be able to enable people in our community, young people that are 18 to like 21, to come to an event. And she is going to have the, everything set up where they can actually register and vote for their first presidential election. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a huge party. Um, it'll spread beyond just Hoppington. Oh, and that's um, she's going to actually orchestrate all the registrations for voting even though she's retired and take on that part. That's uh, wonderful. That's uh, incredible. So great. That's uh, exciting. What a way to kick off the holidays in terms of the success yeah. successful event. And I think even at the event, I think we were like <coughs> honored too. I know that yes. I brought one of the proclamations here and I can send a picture to them. But you know, the, the State House took, um, Carolyn Dykema, our state rep, took a few minutes to come by and say how much RHH has done, the Real Housewives of Hoppington, in building community, building connections, and um, actually recognize the three of us, which was really cool. Quite an honor, absolutely, yeah. and quite a surprise, really, when you share with mm -hmm. us that was going to be happening. So between uh, Carol and, and, and people, the feedback has been, it was a fun time. You oh, know, literally, was. just people hugging and laughing and well, just having a great time being um, together. We had some incredible vendors who uh, provided food and beverage and um, as sponsors. Absolutely. And you didn't go without that evening. Um, so a shout out to Chef McFall, who we oh had my. on the show, whose, whose delicacies were, you know. And Jeff Barton from Waterfresh. And Jeff, Jeff Barton from Waterfresh. Water 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 and then well, Golden yeah. Pond helped out with a lot of food. Uh, Golden Pond uh, right. donated food. And then we had Jack. Jack Am I Jack right? Abbey, yeah. the we worked a brewery. We worked a partnership with um, the local craft brewer out of Framingham. Yeah. And then we had a, a few uh, bottles of wine donated right. from a I couple of local. A little bit, yeah. You know. Yeah, a little bit. Bit of that, that was actually one of our biggest costs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, yeah was, was supplying booze. But the, the event still did what our mission is about building these connections and the friendships that have come out of it. And some of the stories that have come out have been more than just people have a good time or the vendors buying something or things like that. Um, I was at the chamber event with Connie. Yeah. And one of our cor uh, corporate partners at the event, not really a sponsor, was Blackstone Financial. Mm -hmm. And one of the principals came up to me and said, what a good time he had shopping. And he goes, one of the neat things was is that one of his client's daughters was one of our vendors, yeah. which wow. was Lynn Rosen, the girl who does the sewing in town, and that you know he was able to connect with them almost on a client basis, and the connection that came from that. John Contino, one of our selectmen, came up and talked to me about, he, one, he had no idea his wife was involved in our event. <laughs> <laughs> and I barely think he knew his wife is on our page, but um, <laughs> the very the next day, his wife got five new patients. Three of them came from the Real Housewives event. Wow. And all th five of them she had already previously known who didn't really realize she had a medical practice and what she did that she knew them as acquaintances and passing in town about who she was. Wow. A lot of connections Making made connect that night. A well, lot of great connections. And yeah, but let me just share too the um, I had a phenomenal connection on the page myself going through and you know we approve people to be on the page. Is this the Ohio uh, connection? Yeah. Because we're going to Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota connection. Okay. Minnesota Minnesota gonna go, and then connection. we're going to switch to Ohio in a few minutes. So. Exactly. Okay. Well you know I was you know we approve all of us approve people to be on the page. I see a face that looks familiar. Um, I, I you know go back and forth a little bit with her in terms of she's a newcomer. She and her husband are new, new to Hopkinton. 
turns out that we knew each other when our children were little in Minneapolis. And it had been, it's been almost 20 years. So, now, you know, we're like thrilled. She's in town. And, and she came to the event. And she came week. to the event. Yes. And she's making great friends already because Hopkinton is just that kind of place. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it's been awesome. It was. I mean, I think, you know, bridging off of Thanksgiving and this, you know, all sorts of holiday muck luck that's to go down. You have to <laughs> get Christmas cards and all that. <laughs> But really being thankful of what this community does and what this community offers and whether you're a chain business like CVS, who has actually gotten involved in the community to local salons that are hosting different cut -a thons and different things or right. dance studios doing caroling, that you know, there's a lot to be thankful for. And I've been watching some of the people and different things that come up on the page and Patricia and I were talking about this the other day. Some of the most odd and abstract requests have been popping oh, up yes. <laughs> and how the needs are being met. Um, a woman who moved here in October had put up, within the first couple weeks she was here, mm -hmm. she needed a very, very specific massage therapist. Mm -hmm. Within minutes, one was connected and I actually met this woman earlier in the week because later on she posted she needed a dog sitter and my daughter's going to be doing her dog sitter. She also turns out to be the sugar artist that moved here from Ohio. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. And from that, she had posted one shout out saying, I'm doing this. I haven't opened up shop yet. I'll be looking to do something in the Boston area at some point. Jean Bertram saw that post. And she is the sugar artist who's creating the cake for tonight's 300th closing. Oh, wow. wow. And basically, this 300th, if, they have, if you can make it tonight at the cultural arts, the closing ceremony is supposed to be beautiful. This cake, which she showed me glimpses of what she's doing, is four to five stories. Piece of work. It's a piece of work. It's really yeah, honestly gorgeous. if it was retail if if she wasn't donating all her time and labor and Everything. her expertise and stuff, this is like a three thousand dollar cake. Mm -hmm. And um, it's got the Claflin fountain on it. Wow. It has the start of the marathon. And wow. each layer has different designs. Come and, through the cake. And <laughs> this one connection and um, I actually was on the phone with her while I, I was walking in late in the parking lot I wanted to make sure I could mention her name. Her name's Sarah Gillespie. Mm -hmm. And um, she's from that one post, not only is the 300th, she picked up a wedding, a very high end wedding in Vermont. Is she's doing wow. very cool. And the business connections, um, another friend posted up about a very, very, very specialized reading specialist. Mm -hmm. And the fact that within, I think it was within five minutes, we had one in town that's on the page, wow. was able to help. And this is someone who's actually looking to putting a special needs child into a private school. Yeah. And had to get involved that day for a consultant. And the needs the in the The array of backgrounds and interests and, you know, where people come from in Hopkinton is just, you know, the diversity of connections is amazing. It really is. You can ask it anything, the page almost. Yeah. I mean, last yeah. Saturday you went with me to an event for basically, it had to do with my work and it was a very large gala in Boston. And I had put up on the page, you know, I had complimentary tickets, but uh, you're connected with the charity that I work with. And um, Patricia came, and about eight of us from Hopkinton, and then the, our, our board member brought four people. And the connections that even came from that, of couples that like didn't know each other, that two couples drove together, you hadn't really known the Gedmans right, drove right. in with them. People being supportive, people having good times, people having pictures taken with Elvis, all from a <laughs> shout out yep. that's actually helping a charity in, Bo in Dorchester. Wow. Well, and, and you'll see that happening <coughs> on the page with a lot of people saying, mm -hmm. you know, connecting and getting together. And it's become an affinity where you can connect around common interests, Absolutely. common needs. It's a lot of fun. Well, um, the and new I think, member, I'm oh, sorry. Yep, mm -hmm. go. The new member from New Jersey who uh, just moved here and, and uh, is renting, looking for a home, writes for Huffington Post, very engaging person. You can just tell she's gotten so much love in terms of people welcoming her. And all she the needed a lot of help buying a car. <laughs> 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 yeah, she and her family moving here. and um, no, It's all good. Yeah, it's it's all good. good. We all, just take a pause in a moment for, you know, I feel good about this page that we're in this and where the page community is now brewing that we're doing. Kind of launching into, you know, we soft announced it that there's a website that all these referrals and all these things that is soft launching it is a subscriber it is has advertisers on it and you pay to be on it but the, the directory of these le uh, connections is actually now put in you know for kids services you know plumbers electricians housewares it's, a, it's all together and on top of that 
we're going to be able to e-blast a couple times a month starting in January, where you're going to get a key fob and show your card and get discounts at different places. So back yep. up, you jumped mm -hmm. in quickly. Um, what the Facebook page has spawned is Evolved a new, amazing. well, an, a, a website has now been launched called. and called the Real, Real Hopkinton Housewives. I got to get that straight. The Real Hopkinton Housewives. Which is com. the R H H uh, yeah. dot com. Mm -hmm. And on this page, it is a members page. Mm -hmm. um, members will get a fob, and that fob will permit them to participate in exclusive discounts, activities, promos that various businesses will be advertising and put on the page. So yeah. this website page, which is linked to the Facebook page, but will be a different, um, well, I say linked, not a physical internet link, <laughs> yeah. but the fact that it's, it's spawned from. It's affiliated. Yeah. It, it's, it's affiliated from, from the page. So we, certainly want all, we certainly want all the. Um, but as a resource. Yeah. As all the housewives that are on the Facebook page, we would love it if you want to be members of Real Hopkins and Housewives. I'd, uh, and I think that's where where our Facebook group page is limited, exclusive. And it is exclusive to women. It's, it's private. Exclusive. It's, it's private mm -hmm. to women who are from Hopkinton, connected to Hopkinton. It may not be that you're married or kids and that whole thing, but that the- You gotta have an affiliation with this town the of some sort. website is all inclusive. So if you wanna pay the $12 a year, which to launch, later on it's gonna go up to $24 a year. And it basically covers the cost of us hosting the website and using the benefits of this to do more activities like you know shopping for the cause and be able to give a little bit more because we're not out spending a thousand dollars on booze and things like that that we need <laughs> um, but it, has but it was a fun event it may have cost us that but it was a fun event so know. just a little bit of a segue <laughs> though because we are approaching the holiday season and, and oh. I always find you know between Thanksgiving and, and Hanukkah and Christmas just a lot of good things going on. Um, it's it's been just uh, last week was the tree lighting and yeah. in the common. I didn't get to and, see that. Did and you know that this was year? And tree lighting. Our Girl Scout troop didn't go, so I didn't make it there. But it was absolutely fantastic and wonderful. Um, but you did see it. You were there. I. Oh, good. I was caught it. I was with you at a gallery. Remember? Oh, right. yeah. I, 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 day, I, I caught it. So we were treated do. to a limo ride into Boston. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that was delirious. <laughs> but but um, and and uh, we're hitting the concert series with um, the high school and the middle school, and yeah. there's a lot of the choral events about to be happening. Um, coming up in the next couple of weeks. Well, the chamber had its dinner the other day. Yes, yeah. chamber yeah. had its holiday dinner um, just this past week, and and, and there's a um, there's an event this Sunday that one of the Real Housewives has actually been very involved in, and I've gone to in the past. I have two conflicts on Sunday, but it's the Assabet Valley Master Singers, yep. and that's oh. in Northboro. Um, if you go to Aspen Valley's Master Say, but it's Sharon Fontaine and she sings in it. Oh, and this is the Messiah Sing Along. Voice. And it's actually a really, really fun event, good event. You don't have to sing, but <laughs> you can sing along because that's what it's called. Um, nice. the, the other um, events that um, got talked about it on our page. One was the, the CrossFit um, oh, fun, oh, yeah. fundraiser where For you, the library. You, you pay $30, mm -hmm. go to CrossFit on South Street, weigh in before January 7th, and it's kind of like a 50-50 raffle. The person who weighs the mo loses the most in this the month, most. <laughs> loses the most, gets half the money, and the other half is going to the Library Foundation. And, you know, the library officially closes today. I know, Brad was up there getting and, his you know, books, his the, bags for. The, this like all showed yeah, up on your doorstep, so if you guys want to check it out on ways to support the library or make doing donation gifts year end for the library, it's well, here. explain. They're well, officially cl closing yeah. today because they're relocating while they, the construction they and, and the they expansion. Won't the new location will be at 65 South Street. It won't reopen at 65 South Street until about the third week in January yeah. is right. hopeful. It's going to take a while with all this moving to get it over. This is actually, if you want to stop by the library. Right, get what you Actually, by the time you this airs tonight and it'll next be week, over. it'll be it'll gone. Be too late. So, <laughs> so basically, the next time you set foot in the library, it will be the new library in 2017. 
Yeah. It will not reopen before that. Well, they have the temporary the location. Temporary the temporary location, but the temporary location is very um, minimal of what they're right. going to have yep. and resources. Um, but they still want people to come and support Absolutely. it. Absolutely. The um, other event that um, initiative that came up is one that the Mezzet family has initiated with Peter Mezzet, hmm. and that's the Gateway um, to Hockington. And it's um, ways that you can support and donate. It's going to be 100 percent privately funded. It's $120,000 they're trying to raise. One third of it's already been raised before it went public. Yeah. Oh. And that is beautification from the 405 exit on West Main all the way down to so that whole center strip, strip. with oh. new greenery, oh, nice. signage, mm -hmm. flower plantings, and everything else, making it a true gateway into the downtown Lovely. and welcoming people in the community. Mm -hmm. um, this has been a brainstorm of the Mezzets for a long time. And if you don't know, the Mezzets on Western Nurseries. With the chamber. Yeah. And Finn Perry has actually partnered up to another builder in town to help make this a reality. And so there'll be more. I think there's some information on Hop News. I think there's some information that was on HCAM's news site about it. Um, but it'll get more publicity the, over the, the next The plans week. for it are it's really... It's very beautiful. And, and oh, it sounds exciting. Oh. The annual maintenance of this, once it's done, is $5,000 a year. Wow. So it's one of those things that's like, come on. Yeah. Let's get it done, privately funded, and let's make this happen right. for the town. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a wonderful... Uh, what a wonderful endeavor. I mean, just the changes in town, just phenomenal. It's all, it all feels so good. It's exciting. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. So what else is going on with you two? I'm going <laughs> to finish up Christmas shopping well, and things like that. Last week I right. got to see Donnie Marie. That was fun. Oh, yeah. You got and, to, um, yeah, you're, I went with, with one of my oldest and dearest friends, Holly, and she's actually on the page but lives in Opton, and mm -hmm. that's the, kind of the affiliate connection. She used to work at EMC and be part of our Hoppington Play Group. Yeah, and it was kind of funny. Some of the things that happened through the page and stuff. Um, we we ended up shopping the next day. We had stayed overnight at Foxwoods after the show, and um, she saw me looking at different CDs at the store. And I kept picking up this one thing, and then she saw I posted up on my wall um, that I've been like listening to Pandora a lot on Straight No Chaser. Mm -hmm. And so like today, she shows up at my door. I was in the shower. Michael gets it. It's an early Christmas present. You have to open this. And it was the whole collection of Straight No Chasers Christmas. And it's oh. those kind of things where someone saw it on the page, yeah. saw like, wow, she really likes this. She knew I wouldn't go out before Christmas and buy something like that. <laughs> and I've been listening to it on Pandora. That's cute. Yeah. Well, well, I haven't even started Christmas shopping. I'm almost done. I know. We, we rode the train I, together. I, done. I, done. I haven't done. started. Yeah. Well, I do. i am got a little bit of exciting news. And, uh -huh. and keep your fingers crossed because I interviewed yesterday to teach a class at Tufts University starting oh, in the new year, very good. Um, accounting and entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a competitive position, but yeah. it's looking good. Excellent. So I'm hoping I get that. Yes. It'll be a lot of fun for me. That will um, be a lot of fun. Adjunct, you know, pos adjunct. possession, professor position. Back with yeah. the that's yeah. like your resume. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It'll be fun. I mean, you've been doing that stuff at Stanford, so be, I mean, exactly. not that exact thing. No, but working leadership with and mentoring, but, but yeah. it's a lot of fun. Um, oh, someone, um, Karen Webb just posted up on our page. Uh, can you do a shout out to the Minden, Minden, Tw Minden Twin Drive in this weekend? It's going to be showing Christmas movies all oh, weekend. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's that's right. right. So people go in the winter? Is that what Well, not are? normally. The Adelman Brothers bought the drive in a couple of years ago, and okay. they've tried to revitalize it to make it more than just, you know, a four month season. Okay. And uh, so they've done things like barbecue festivals, craft beers. They're doing this, they're doing the Star Wars opening. They are? They are. The drive in. Yes. Well, see, that's what that's that's bundle up. What, yeah, bundle up. Oh, yeah, of course, it's car. not even that cold yeah. tonight or whatever this yeah. weekend. I mean, yeah. as long as it's not raining or snowing, it's the screen. You're in your car, you know. Hi, oh, that's great. I mean, I think Santa's supposed to be there. Yeah, this weekend will oh, be awesome. awesome. I know. How I mean, fun. this is actually the busiest sh shopping weekend, and I think the busiest shopping day is technically the 21st. Oh yeah. Of the year, but. Um, I know my son is taking a bus trip with his girlfriend in New York for the day tomorrow. And he's like, really, well, is it going to be well, that fun? Cool? I'm like, you're going to be a sardine a in a can tomorrow. <laughs> I've been doing local shopping, and yeah. I haven't been, I haven't really dented my list. It's still pretty, right. a long way to go, but really been I excited did. about all the local shopping I've been able to do. Okay. Um, Alima's purse, I love right. checking out the good stuff. 
your local retailers, Swoon, Weston Nurseries has mm -hmm. great ornaments yeah. and great stocking stuffers for things like that. Some of the things the I house. picked up this season too have been um, shout outs on the page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's Absolutely. been like Muriel Kramer shouted out about her handmade soaps, which right. is like a hobby of hers and she always sells them. But they're them delicious. So, you know, <laughs> she was at... Not only do I, I have them, so and them. I like, like them. They smell. smell so wonderful. I, yeah. I mean, I ordered them the other. I order them the other day. She delivers them the next day. Yeah, you know, Nancy Best awesome. Photography is amazing. So you know, I ordered a calendar from her. Someone else was making dog toys for Bay Path. I ordered. Wait, uh, I yeah, mean, I, you know, we, if I don't get the dog a pre dogs a present, my daughter gets upset. So <laughs> now the dogs are done for six dollars a piece. And, well, and the money's going to Bay Path. Speaking yeah. of you know d doing things locally, one of the housewives at the event was saying that they do. Um, gift swap in their family and they have a theme and this year's theme is shop local so the it. actual intent is to find things locally you know Hopkinton and Metro West and she said you could easily do that well yeah you know and I, and I do encourage members of the page post up any of the locals that you love shopping at yeah. and, and share. There's some great Absolutely. And put your pictures businesses. in the comments. If you're, <laughs> if you're selling your own stuff, uh, even, and, even and if, we're giving even, away. <laughs> even if you're like promoting another business and you have a picture of it, put it in the comments. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason is? The reason is is that the comments that go in the regular, the pictures that go in the regular post actually become part of a permanent photo gallery that we actually have to comb through and clean. So you may think it's really nice that you sold like Junior's like leftover Legos and gave us 16 pictures of every color of Lego, <laughs> but that actually becomes where I we have to actually manually go in and clean out, you know, 14 pictures of blue Legos. Right, right, <laughs> and, right. And it's tedious at times. And <laughs> it's also that when people are also trying to find things that have been posted in the past and, and scroll through, that those actually and I'm going to use the word, they clutter up the site. Yeah. So to clean it, So we it, love that you're posting, but just post them in yeah. comments, and it's all good. It's all good. Um, well, lots going we're on. I guess ready for yeah. next week's show is going to be our Christmas show. I we're know. We have to get our little plan together, but that oh will be good. Oh, my. Honey's going to come as an elf or something? Yeah, really? uh, you know, like, like, I'm really tall, yes. <laughs> I'm the elf. I'm the elf, guys. You right. can laugh. You can all laugh. <laughs> It was fun last year. And, and, uh, anyway, enjoy. Yeah. See you next week. Absolutely. All right. Thank you for joining me. Thanks Thank a lot. See you next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Jen Belisi from Golden Pond Assisted Living in Hopkinton. Staying active is essential to happy and healthy aging. Golden Pond has activities for seniors and people of every age. There is a diverse range of opportunities to be had. We've made some friendships, not acquaintances. If you'd like to participate in any of Golden Pond's upcoming events, visit the events page on Golden Pond's website or call 535-1250 for more information. We hope to see you soon. Yeah.